Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and Apple has just released a big update for AirPods. 6A300 and 6A301 are the new firmware that Apple has released for the new AirPods Pro and of course other AirPods versions as well. Now this update comes with a lot of new features and changes. So in this video, you're going to take a look at all those new features and we're talking also about updating first of all. Now, as you know, there's no direct way to update your AirPods. There is still no way to actually do that even with iOS 17 and the new firmwares, you still don't have like a button or something to directly update your AirPods. Now your best shot at updating your AirPods will be just to connect them to your iPhone and maybe listen to some music or something for about 15 to 20 minutes and see of course if the update is there or not. And of course, while doing that, make sure that you have your AirPods charged all the way up. Another thing you can do is plug in your AirPods to charge and connect them to a laptop. That's maybe even better and that should get the update pretty pretty fast but again it's not guaranteed that you will get the update so if you just use your airpods regularly in a day or two most likely you will get automatically the update for the new firmware on your airpods so now let's go ahead and take a look at the new features and changes that you will find on these updates first of all according to apple the sound quality should be way better with this latest update so expect for all airpods to have better sound so that's really really great of course especially for like older airpods that should be a big improvement now take a look at the settings here you can see we have like a new look here for the noise control and some other options for the pro models we're going to talk about that in a second here then you will have here a section for mute and unmute this allows you to press your airpods or use the crown on the maxes to actually mute or unmute a phone call so you will have two options here press once or press twice of course those options will be different based on which airpods you're using now this option here will work for the airpods pro first and second generation also it works with the regular airpods on the generation 3 not the older ones and of course for the airpod maxes as well and then you will have here the other options like personal, personalized volume and conversation awareness. Now, these, of course, will be available only for the AirPods Pro 2. And we're going to talk about those features in a second here. So these are basically the new settings that you will find for the AirPods with this latest update. Now, one of the cool features of AirPods is automatic switching. Basically, you switch between devices seamlessly. You're working on your iPhone, you move on to your Mac or to your iPad. You can just switch between devices as easy as that. But it actually wasn't that fast and not that reliable. But according to Apple, this update will improve that a lot and make it way, way faster. So if you have used your AirPods, you use them that way, to actually switch between devices you should notice a huge improvement once you have your device updated to the latest firmware so of course automatic switching works across devices so only having your airpods updated won't make that work so according to apple you will need to have of course your airpods updated to this latest firmware but for this feature to work with all the new improvements you should have the other devices updated as well so if you just updated your airpods and you're not seeing any improvements there you have to wait for the other softwares to be released ios 17 ipad os 17 or the new mac os so for ios and ipad os you will have to wait until monday september 18th to actually get the update on your devices as well as on your airpods which you can get as soon as today and then of course you will have this feature work as it should Moving on to adaptive audio. Now this will be available for the AirPods Pro 2. Now this is a great feature to have. As you probably know, with AirPods Pro, you will get transparency and also active noise cancellation. These are the two modes that you get. Well, Apple has made a new mode called adaptive audio. Well, basically they are mixing both of them on the same place so if you tap on noise control right here you can see we have a new option for adaptive right there now what that will basically do is that it blends these two modes together as i said and will vary the amount of noise cancellation depending on the sounds that the airpods detect 
on your roundabout so if there's a lot of noise it will just make them more like it will active the noise cancellation more if there's less noise it will move on to transparency so basically it's adjusting all the time between transparency and noise cancellation for your listening experience to be way better and of course accommodate to your roundabouts next up will be conversation awareness now this is also a pretty cool new feature that apple has added to the airpods pro 2. now conversation awareness will automatically lower the volume of your music or podcast that you might be listening on your phone when you're trying to talk or speak to someone so let's say you try you basically have your airpods on and you're listening to music you start speaking this on will automatically lower the volume down it also enhances the voices of the people around you so you can just basically have a really good conversation without your music interrupting you while having the conversation and at the same time it also reduces the background noises so you're probably listening to the conversation way better with your airpods on in this feature than without having the airpods on at all especially if you're on a very loud environment the next one will be personalized volume now personalized volume is a great new feature that apple has added to the airpods now apple is basically using machine learning or ai whatever you want to call it to adapt to your listening habits so as you use your airpods and you're listening to music and videos and maybe different like podcasts your iphone will learn how you listen to stuff what kind of volume you use for each of different media and then it will adapt the volume for you so basically over time personalized volume will be able to automatically select the volume that you want for certain types of media that's pretty cool of course so whenever you plug in your airpods and you start playing something it just adjusts the volume automatically based on what you're listening on your airpods so these are the cool new features that apple has brought to the airpods with the new update so it's 6a300 for the airpods 6a301 for the airpods pro now of course most of these cool new features will be available to the pro models and to the airpods third generation so if you have older airpods you're probably getting a bit better volume out of your airpods but not all these cool new features of course that's the way apple does stuff they're always pushing forward so the new features will be mostly available for airpods that are newer so again trying to update your airpods just keep using them as you use them on daily basis because there will be no like direct way to actually update your airpods which is really sad apple should actually implement that because it's really annoying trying to update airpods on your own so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found this video useful if you did make sure you hit that like button and of course don't forget to subscribe for more ios videos and airpods videos there will be a ton of videos coming up next week as soon as ios 17 gets released to the public so that's basically it thank you guys for watching and i will see you on the next one